What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to a brand new live series that I'm going to be trying out in Advanced Warfare. We'll kind of see how it's how well it's received. If you guys really enjoy this, I may continue it. If not, no big deal. I might just kind of drop it. Uh, but what the series is going to be called, as you can tell by the title, is Live Lessons with Ace. Uh, so what this is going to be is, it's going to be different than my live challenge series, where you guys give me a challenge and then I try to complete it. And it's different. going to be different than uh, Pick My Class as well. Basically, with this series, I get to play however I want to play. But I want to try and basically bring as many tips and as much of my mindset in a game as possible uh, while, while playing in this live series. So instead of challenging myself to use a really ridiculous gun or something like that, or some sort of a setup that's really ridiculous, I'll play uh, with whatever I feel like. Usually it's going to be like the best of the best kind of thing for me or, or something like that. Like I might demonstrate, I might want to demonstrate how to play with an SMG effectively. Or in today's game, we're actually going to uh, try and demonstrate how to stay alive longer. So this is kind of going to be uh, a lead-in from uh, the how to stay alive longer and how to improve your kill-death ratio longer video that I already did. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I will leave it in the description below. But basically what I'm going to try to do is demonstrate all of those tips that I was giving you in that, uh, in that particular video and kind of show my mindset while I'm actually playing and trying to follow those tips. So... That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to try and stay alive as long as possible and uh, basically get a really high kill death ratio in a game of team deathmatch. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. Looks like we're going to be playing on Ascend. And just like with the tips, I'm going to try and play really slowly and methodically. I'm not going to camp. I am going to try and move around the map as much as possible without being reckless and rushing around a lot. I kind of want to stick with my teammates or a little bit behind my teammates even and just sort of pick enemies off from a distance or somewhat of a distance. So I'd like to go underground and I keep forgetting where that underground route is and oh we're getting a little bit of a skip here but uh, hopefully it won't be too much of an issue. Oh that's a teammate. So I'm going to be aiming down sight a lot before going around corners. I'm not going to jump up there out into the open like a lot of people do and sometimes if I'm rushing that's what I'll end up doing so we want to just methodically move in into their flank here and get our shots on target would be ideal. Okay, I don't like where I am right now. I'm just too exposed, so I'm going to actually just get a reload in, take my time, and it looks like the enemies are probably in this area. I know there's one directly above me, but I'm not too concerned with him. Oh, is that a guy laying? Oh, those bodies. The bodies in this game, they look so real, or so alive. That sniper rifle just looks ridiculous. That atlas or i don't even know if that's the atlas or what it is but it just looks insane okay i'm a little concerned about my back because i can't hear footsteps so if they try to sneak up on me i'm in trouble a little curious nope don't want to challenge that gunfight at that range with this gun uh, it doesn't have the greatest accuracy so that's why i i just decided to back off there uh, i do want to be a little bit more aggressive than i have been uh, i've only got one kill or two kills now so I'd like to have a few more kills. There we go. There is a guy up here as well. And he decided to boost away. Now, since I did kill that enemy there, he might come back for me for revenge. So, oh, drop shot. I kind of expected an enemy, enemy to be somewhere in this area, but I just didn't quite get on target as fast as I would have liked. I don't think I have quick draw on this class. or No, I definitely don't. Doesn't seem like it anyways. Gonna stay with our teammates here. Uh, basically, I'm kind of using my teammates as bait in a way, so they're they're the ones that'll be getting shot first, and I can sort of support them and try and pick that guy, pick off the enemies that are shooting my teammates. And it might sound like a, a bit of a cruel uh, strategy, but it's an effective strategy if you're trying to do well in team deathmatch. I am supporting my teammates, it's not like I'm just completely leaving them hanging and using them as bait that way, but... At the same time, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, it looks like my teammates are all over here, so we probably flip spawns over in this direction. So just going to try and predict that spawn and uh, push up towards... Yeah, there's a guy that spawned right up above me. Well, they would have spawned right back here, actually, but... There we go. Get on their flank. Oh, oh crap. Ooh, good thing my teammate got shots into him, but I think he had a sniper rifle, so I was probably okay anyways. I'm going to try to push a little bit towards the middle of the map here. Just to support my teammate. Because you do have a decent head glitch here. I'm a little worried about my left hand side now. UAV is yeah, we got a UAV up. And most of them are running low profile. But you can't really blame them. Because it is 
pretty much the best in the best perk in its uh, slot. Care oh, again, the dead bodies in this. They look so alive. Okay, so we're gonna back off now. Uh, took a lot of damage there. We were one one shot away from death. It looks like. So kind of methodically push in towards where I think their spawn is. Get a reload. And... Oh. I know we're playing methodically, but that was the right move at that in that situation was to try and uh, do that jumping boost. So I am near their spawn. I gotta be aware of that. But I'd like, I'd like to get a gun. Oh, I'm hearing them boosting around me. Hopefully there's nobody behind me. Uh, I don't want to offensively support that bombing run. Okay, so now I don't have a silenced gun, so just have to be aware of that. It might be a good thing for me in a way because it should draw enemies towards me. There we go. Now I just want to get out of here. We got our own bombing run now, but let's call a system hack in first. That way, if they're trying to sneak up on me, then I should be able to take them out. I think obstructed. Okay. Oh, that should do something. I'm going to push inside here since I did call that bombing run in. I don't want to kill myself. I was kind of hoping that would force force them through these doors. Force them inside, but didn't even get a kill with it. A little bit frustrating, but then again, I, I couldn't see exactly where they were. I was basically guessing on that one. I was trying to place it where my teammates weren't, and that's usually a good indication of where the enemies are. But sometimes it's it's not always right, and sometimes they just have good cover to go to. I'm a little worried about this side, just because there is that pocket, and the way the spawns work in this game, if there is a pocket behind you where there's no teammates, it's very possible that an enemy could spawn in behind you. So I'm not in an ideal spot right now. I'm kind of up in the open, so I want to get moving and... Kind of push towards the spawn. You notice I'm not jumping on top of everything. And that's one of my tips for staying alive longer. Uh, you just become a big target if you're boost jumping all over the place and you're jumping up into the air. It's very easy for an enemy to see you when you're doing that. So I find it's better to avoid boost jumping most of the time. If the situation demands it, like if I did want to go up there, then yeah, absolutely, I'll boost jump up there. But at this point, I don't really want to. So I'm not getting in the action nearly as much as I'd like, but it seems to be partially... Just the way the enemies are playing. Oh man, he almost outplayed me there. Don't want to reload yet, just because I'm assuming there's going to be enemies up on these areas up here. Because I think they are spawning back here, but I, I don't know for sure. Whoa, why was he shooting me? How did he even see me? Either way, I'm, I'm worried about my back, just because they could spawn here. Now our teammates have spawned here, so should be safe from that side. Should be. Not always, but should be. Alright, I did see that dot, but I'm not going to be chasing dots either. That's not a very smart way to play it. You don't want to be chasing dots. You want to be getting on their flank, pushing in towards their spawn. And I want you to keep in mind throughout this video, if I haven't really mentioned it... Oh, of course he's laying down. If I haven't mentioned it before, uh, this isn't how I'm suggesting that you play all the time. And this isn't how I play all the time. A lot of times I will rush head on towards guys... I'll rush head on and I'll just go crazy and I'll be really reckless. This is just one play style that you can use. So I'm in no way suggesting that you should always play like, whoa, that's an enemy. Holy crap. You should always play like this or anything. Uh, there are times when rushing is more effective and there are times when doing this is more effective. So hopefully, oh, hello. I guess I could have shot, I could have thought about uh, where my long lines of sight were. Ooh, my, my aim's a little off. I'm currently developing my accuracy drill still. I, it hasn't been... It's not really fine-tuned yet, so I'm not going to be releasing my accuracy drill quite yet. I would like to, but it just isn't quite fine-tuned for... to account for the EXO abilities. Now I'm not focusing enough on my game. I'm focusing a little too much on other things, like talking. I want to just keep playing methodically. My god, he had good shots. I just want to watch this. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> really good shots. Mine were all over the place, though. Notice red dots are very, very helpful in this game, I've found. Now, is he going to be coming for me here? Did he see me? Or did my teammates end up cleaning him up? 
It seems like every time I push spawns, this happens. It flips. <laughs> Whoa, what? They didn't even know who was shooting me there. Oh. Okay, I gotta be aware of the open area, but I wanna get up close to this guy. I think there was one over here, too. But I don't like where I am. That's not a good place to be out in the open in the middle of the map like that. Definitely not ideal. There's just too many angles that you can be shot from and too many longer range areas that you can be shot from as well. Alright, I don't really like where I am right now, but I need to kind of get my bearings. I don't know where this enemy is. It's very possible that he's in a corner. Yeah, I just had to play that smart. See, that's that's something I mentioned in the video. It's not camping if it's the smartest move at the, for that situation. So somebody might even call me a camper for laying down in the kill cam like this. But hey, it was the right thing to do at the time. Turn around, lay down, make yourself a hard target to hit. And I got a kill because of that. He didn't even get, get a shot on me. So it's an effective way to play. 17 and 5, not too bad. It, this is the very first game I jumped into. So it does demonstrate that you can get a higher kill death ratio just by playing slowly, methodically. Uh, keep everything calm, keep everything under control in your mind, and you'll be able to do something like that. I know it wasn't an extremely exceptional game, but it did demonstrate the tips that I wanted to demonstrate for this series. So let me know in the comment section below, do you want to see me continue this series? I, I, my plan with it right now is basically to have a different, different mindset or a different play style going into each one of these episodes, so I can demonstrate different ways to play. So I think for the next episode, I'm already going to do uh, how to effectively play with an SMG or how to rush effectively with an SMG. And I think that will help a lot of people because a lot of people are stuck using assault rifles and they really struggle with the SMG. So let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.